Now before we start comparing the sizes of these structures here, let's first look at the units of measurements we're going to be using. So we've got millimetres, micrometres, and nanometers. Now just to understand, one millimeter, everyone should know, is a thousand times smaller than a meter. So it is the equivalent of 10 to the power of minus three meters. One micrometer is a thousand times smaller than a millimeter. And so it is equal to 10 to the power of minus three millimeters. And finally, one nanometer is the thousand times smaller than a micrometer, and so is the equivalent of 10 to the power of minus 3 micrometers. And obviously, as we go down, it gets smaller. Now we're going to be comparing these structures from smallest to largest. starting with molecules. Now obviously molecules vary in size, um, but most are around one nanometer in diameter. The thickness of cell membranes, which is basically this measurement here, are usually up to 10 nanometers. Viruses obviously vary in size, but the syllabus goes with 100 nanometers. Bacteria as well vary in size, obviously, um, but again, we're going to go with the syllabus, and the syllabus says they are 1 micrometer. Organelles. Now, we've got many types of organelles. I've taken mitochondria here, um, which you can see here as well in the cell, um, and they can be anything up to 10 micrometers. And finally, eukaryotic cells can be anything up to 100 micrometers. And so that's the measurements for you.